Today I am other than tired as per usual. I am going to talk about the um, well, something that's very dear to my heart because of who I am and what I have. I'm going to talk about the hidden disability sunflower lanyard. Now for those who don't know this is called a hidden disabilities sunflower lanyard or sunflower hidden disabilities lanyard. I don't know why it's called that. I'm assuming it's the well one it's sunflowers because it's got sunflowers on it. Two, it's an actual lanyard that goes round your neck. And three, or in a bag, but I always wear it around my neck. It signifies that a person um has a hidden disability such as autism or epilepsy or asthma. Now, in recent year in recent years and i can say recent because it's been the past year possibly two almost where the virus has appeared people have been using these these lanyards to mean them mask exempt now for your information this has nothing to do with being mask exempt absolutely fuck all it does not mean you are mask exempt it literally was designed by a company which is called hidden disabilities lanyard sunflower hidden disabilities lanyard to signify that a person has additional needs that are hidden that you can't see and they may need extra help or extra assistance it is nothing to do with being mask exempt that is not what this means this lanyard is literally signifying someone has a hidden disability an additional need that may mean that they need extra help it has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with being mask exempt. If someone is wearing this and they are saying that they that they are mask exempt because of their hidden disability, yes, that may well that may well be true. But also, some people are now just using this sunflower lanyard because they are readily available to signify that they don't have to wear a mask. Now that really upsets me because this is not what this is for this is nothing to do with whether you wear a mask or not especially in the time of a pandemic i'd understand if a person genuinely could not wear one if a person genuinely cannot wear one and i work with plenty of people who genuinely cannot wear one and i understand that however i feel as though if you've got a real genuine disability and it's hidden you should wear this however if you're just wearing this to signify I do not want to I choose not to wear a mask because I don't want to not I can't physically wear a mask it causes me too much distress or I have a hidden disability and do not understand why I need to wear a mask then you need a, you, you need a smack I mean that's a bold claim but you need a smack because if you're pretending to have a disability to not have to wear a mask not just putting yourself in danger but those you love and care about in danger too then you you need a smack i know everyone has the right to choose whether they get vaccinated everyone has the right to choose whether they may wear a mask or not well actually no they don't because it's a mandate now like you have to unless you have a reasonable excuse like a hidden disability you have to wear a mask now in shops on public transport when you're out and about when you're around people or at least that's how it is in england i don't know about the rest of the world now this lanyard is my own i bought this with my own money i'm not sponsored by anyone i'm not a big enough channel to be sponsored by anyone and i'd never choose to be sponsored by someone whose goal is to signify hidden disabilities not that that's a bad thing and that's not why I choose not to be uh, sponsored by them, but more because I know that the money they make is very, very important to supporting those with hidden disabilities like myself. Now, when I wear this, I wear it every day. I wear it around my neck, like that. I also wear cards because they do, their website comes with cards. I'm not going to this is mine i put this on to keep it on the lanyard so it didn't stop 
it stopped flopping flipping and drives me insane but the cards look like this every card that comes from a hidden disabilities um sunflower company campaign not sure of the word looks like this this is the real one this has really come off their website anything that doesn't look like this is not a real card from hidden disabilities uh, company at all ones that don't look like this are ones that people have bought off ebay or amazon or a variety of other shops like etsy they are not from the real the pacific the um the word the real the pacific the oh my gosh what's the word i don't know the word uh legal i guess non-fraudulent hidden disabilities lanyard company i have quite a few cards from them i have i have several hidden disabilities because i do i do have several and on the back of that Hang on, let me just make make sure I can con cover the contact up. Um, is This is a personalised one. So it's got a picture of me before I dyed my hair again. With the wording, I may need assistance or more time. Please be patient and ask me how you can help. And then underneath, it has some of my hidden disabilities. Because you can't list them all, there won't be enough space. And then the sim sim symbols, which are my symbols that I chose because this is a personalisation one. I chose the sunflower to mean hidden disabilities, the assistance dog, because I do have an assistance dog, he's Jake. He is currently sleeping behind me, which is why you can't see him. The mobility one, because I've got fibromyalgia and seizures. The hearing impaired one, for obvious reasons. And the vision impairment one because I've got no 3D vision and anyone who's in the medical field or not understands the majority of those symbols which is really helpful and then I'm literally just covering up the bottom of it which says with my consent in an emergency please contact and then the person to contact who I'm not going to reveal because they one don't know I've got a YouTube channel and two uh, probably don't want their number all over the internet they won't be happy so I've also got Oh gosh, got too many cards. Got this one that says it's from the same company. I have a hearing loss because I'm profoundly deaf. And on the side it said, I have a hearing loss and may not hear you. Face me, speak clearly, but don't shout. And if necessary, write your message down on the back of it. I have, oh my gosh, who else do I have? from here I think that I've got one more from here and it's literally my is that it yes that's it so I've got other cards attached which is why I'm trying to hunt for the ones that are hidden disabilities on blah ones and this one which yes says face covering exempt on it but I am face covering exempt because of my hidden disability not because I don't want to wear a mask I do wear a mask every day and every single time I need to, I will wear a mask. Unless I'm having an allergic reaction, I'm having an asthma attack, I'm having a seizure because then my support workers have to take it off me to make sure I'm breathing correctly. Or if um, I am having a sensory issue because I can't manage things being on my face if my sensory processing difficulties are too high. But that is the only time I will take it off. And on the back it says, my hidden disability makes me exempt from wearing a face covering. Now also, on in this, these clear pockety things, I keep other cards that would be useful to me when I go out. So I've got this one, which is for London Transport, but realised it could be used anywhere. And it says, please offer me a seat. Remember, not all impairments and conditions are visible. It also has a badge, but the badge is on my coat at the moment somewhere and I have also got some journey assistance cards that are from Stagecoach but they're bundled together with a elastic band because otherwise they'd fall out and I don't want to be carrying like a thousand of these little case things 
Um, you can get these little case things that I use from Hidden Disabilities Sunflower Lanyard Company. I will link it below. Um, but I just bought a pack of 10 from Amazon because it was cheaper than buying one for every single one because they're like 70p a go and no that's not a lot of money but 70p times 10 oh sorry not 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 70p times 6 is quite a bit of money and that's how many I need so 70p times 6 would have just been ridiculous that is I can't do the math 7 6 is a 42 so £4.20 for 6 of these whereas I got 10 off Amazon for the exact same price that it would have took to buy 6 and I can keep using them you see so that goes on my hidden disability lanyard but also I carry a few other things which I'm going to show you they don't necessarily have anything to do with the lanyard itself but they live on my lanyard so it made sense to me I had uh, to show you them I have also on my lanyard this this boingy thing which again I got off Amazon I think it's for fishing possibly it is yellow so you probably can't see it because of the sun there we go but it's attached to my well attached to a Kariba that is going to be attached to my lanyard and on the end of this, I put my fresh mask, which I'm actually going to do because I've just put one on here to switch over it. I'll switch it over. Where is it? This is the issue. I get easily distracted and then I put things down and I can't find them again. Sorry. I probably look a bit nuts, but I'm looking for my mask. Jake hasn't got it. Underneath. Oh, found it. There we go. It was underneath the piece of paper. So, in England, where I live, you have to wear a mask when you leave your house, when you're going out in public into shops and things. So, I always carry a mask on my on my um, lanyard just because then if I need to put it on, I can just put it on. This is a clean one. I've just switched it over. Also, on this lanyard, I have a fidget because again I'm autistic and I've got ADHD and having something in my hands other than the dog lead is quite useful especially when I'm struggling to concentrate this is just a fidgety pop pit that you do that with you push them in there we go and pop them back out again and also on this one is dog, dog poo bags because my dog comes everywhere with me and I get get really irritated if I don't clean up after him and yes they are purple with dog prints on them because why not might as well make it pretty while I'm at it and the last thing the very very last the only other thing like that I keep on my lanyard is my house keys well actually it's more than house keys this is a guide dog dog clicker it's for training your dog it makes an atrocious sound but I use it with Jake when I'm trying to get him to be quiet obviously it won't work right now because he's not making a noise but if we were by the door and needed him to be quiet I would click it and I would say Jake quiet and click it again and then when he was I'd give him a treat I have this is a radar key for the disabled toilets those two are my flat keys and the door to my flat like the door to my actual flat and the doors to like open the flats and then these are keys to my parents house that I don't really use unless I'm going to my parents but they're on there anyway so I don't lose them and I don't get stressed and then I've also got a little emergency tag that says emergency in emergency see other side and on the other side again I'm going to cover it up because it's got someone's very private number on it but it says in case of emergency please contact and then it says the number obviously and then underneath that it says I carry a card with additional information and contact info which I do but that's in my purse um, now the number I've wrote on the sharpie so it won't come off but it just means that if someone finds me like if an EMT or whatever finds me 
the the lanyard gives them the information. Where is my lanyard? Okay. The lanyard itself gives them information. It was around my neck. The lanyard itself gives me information that I have a hidden disability. And the cards give them enough information that they will be able to help me. And the fidget gives me something calming. The poo bags mean I can clean up after my dog. And the mask means that if I can manage a mask that day, I've always got one with me. Now, I don't understand why this hidden disabilities lanyard has suddenly become to mean, oh, I don't wear a mask or, oh, I don't have to wear a mask. I have a hidden disability. When realistically, anyone who's got a hidden disability or at least anyone who's got one that isn't a physical one and isn't a cognitive one that makes it really hard for them to understand which I guess would also tie in learning disabilities should be wearing a mask and even those people with learning disabilities can wear a mask I mean I wear a mask I've got a learning disability and my sister's got special she's got autism and she wears a mask and I've got breathing disorders and I wear a mask I've seen people I work with wear masks even though they're not comfortable with it so I do not believe that just because someone's got a hidden disability they should get away with not wearing a mask but that does not give people the right to harass, to bully, to attack, to be violent, to be verbally abusive to people just because they're not wearing a mask. That is their choice whether they're lying or not about having a hidden disability to not wear a mask or a medical condition to not wear a mask does not give us the right as people who choose to to bully and attack them they have the right to make their choices and their decisions just as much as we have the right to wear a mask regardless of our condition or mental health disorder or medical issue or whatever you want to call it i wear a mask through choice i also have a hidden disability i'm also i'm also physically and learning disabled I'm also vaccinated. I still choose to wear a mask because for my own sanity I'd rather feel safe. I also have friends who don't. Now that is completely up to them but I like to have my hidden disability sunflower lanyard because it gives me the ability to communicate. I may need extra help if I'm in a situation where I'm on my own and I don't have support with me or my carers with me or my parents or my sister. It gives me the ability to communicate, I may need extra help, and that is why you wear it. You do not wear a hidden disability sunflower lanyard to get out of wearing a mask. That is not why they are created at all. And if that's why you're wearing them, then frankly, you need to go get some education. You need to realise that actually they are for people like me with hidden disabilities, not for you to take the piss and not wear a mask and break the rules. Okay? I'm fully aware that was a bit rambly. I apologise. Thank you for listening to me. For those wondering where my dog is, because I know there'll always be one, he is right there, asleep, as he has been since I've been filming this video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to go put my lanyard back together. Bye!